All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at a card that should have been made a long time ago. Like, you think that they would Konami would make this card, but no, 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 now they finally make it. This is Foolish Burial with Belongings. So you're probably wondering, okay, it's another Foolish Burial card. Wait, what do you possibly think they could do? Because, of course, we already know that the regular Foolish Burial sends monsters. What could this one do? <gasps> send spells and traps from the deck to the graveyard? Yep. Yep, you know, that simple, you know, a card this simple you think would came out years ago. I think it's been over a decade since uh, Foolish Burial has existed, and this card's just kind of sitting there like, um, uh, I guess I'll exist eventually. So Foolish Burial belongs to simple cards, a normal spell card that reads, send one spell slash trap card from your deck to the graveyard. But you can only activate one Foolish Burial with belongings per turn, so... That's, a little, that's definitely more of a new Age of Gyo edition, you know, the... I don't think this card will get limited like uh, Foolish Burial, but, you know, it's, it's, at least you can't go Foolish Burial, Foolish Burial Belongs, Foolish Burial Belongs, you know, you could, if you open up a multiple, it's kind of a dead draw because you've got to wait a turn, uh, but this can bring up some interesting plays. Of course, it is a neg one, just like the regular Foolish Burial, but depending on what you send and the combos that you can do with it, make up for it being a neg one, which can e potentially even you out or get you searches. There's so many things. Like, if you literally go to the tips in the wiki, there is just, oh my god, it's just a page of different things that he can do, different archetypes. So I guess I could talk about a couple of them, I guess. But, uh, I mean, I'll leave the link in the description. You guys can come over here and check out all the, the various things that you can do. Because there are definitely some uh, very powerful things that uh, you can pull off this card. So, I'm just kind of going down the list with my eyes. But uh, some of them I don't think are as interesting as other cards. Uh, I'm trying to think for things that aren't a neck, you know? Or the end result will still be a neck. Because it's like, oh, well, you know, you can... Uh, you know, with blue eyes, you can send Mausoleum of White to activate Burst Stream. Yeah, 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 you know. So, some of these aren't the greatest, but some of them, if it can get you even out with a potential search, then it's great, you know. For example, in Cubics, you can send that Cubic Karma and then, you know, use that Karma, Cubic Karma to get you that search. Um, well, I guess you could use it in Dark Lord, send one of their spells and traps and have the Dark Lord monsters mimic it, but that's kind of... Eh. Uh, of course, in Fluffles, you can send that Toy Vendor, and then Toy Vendor gets a search, so that, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Um, Gem Knights can send that Gem Knight Fusion, or that Brilliant Sparks, so they can retrieve, so, uh, so you can treat, so that's a little bit of a search setup. Um, Luna Lights, you can send Perfume, but I don't like that, because you gotta, like, pitch a card, I think you gotta, like, uh, get rid of a card with that, too, so I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, in Arts, you can send that Pantheism, that, that's good, that, definitely. That's worth the search, especially with Pantheism at one. And then if you already have the Pantheism or whatever, you can send Prime, but then that's a neg. So we're trying to you're trying to get it so it's not like a you know, a neg. Because that's that's where you can get the maximum benefit out of it, is when it's not a neg. Uh silent sword and slash silent magician, you can send their uh silent sword slash or their uh silent burning to then search for the monster. So uh that's pretty good. For course Phantom Knights uh spell slash traps or, you know, Phantom Knight traps. Uh, you can go ahead and banish to get their additional uh, summon from the graveyard, so that's pretty decent. Uh, and you ace, you know, the sports! Uh, you can send penalty box, you know, that was one of the main reasons why you run around penalty box. Is when it's uh, in grave, you can banish it to go ahead and get you a uh, search for a UA spell card. So that's actually pretty good, you know, so that way you can play the penalty box and not have it sitting there on the field. You can actually just send it and get the search, so not bad. Of course, volcanics that send that blaze, uh, accelerated reload, and use its effect. Uh, for the volcanic monsters, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's just so many different things. And then probably, I think, the cutest play that I think people might do is um, the Metaphos Fusion play. So, pretty much, you use that Foolish Burial with Belonging, send the Metaphos Fusion. Uh, Metaphos Fusion will then return back to the deck to draw your card. So, uh, the thing is that you can only use the effect of Foolish Burial, Belongings, and Metaphos Fusion put the back the shovel to draw a card once per turn but in a sense it's kind of like a pseudo upstart and when the upstart goblins at one you know you could throw in three foolish barrel with belongings upstart goblin and one metal fuss fusion and you kind of it's kind of like you have your upstarts back kind of kind of if you end up drawing into multiple uh 
foolish burials with belongings, you can only activate one once per turn, so it's not like you keep doing it, you can only use the effect of modified solution once per turn. But if they're kind of spread out between in the deck and in the duel, then yeah, they are kind of like pseudo upstar goblins. So you can use it in that way, which I think is probably the cutest play and the plays we possibly might see if you're not just throwing in a very same specific deck that has spells or traps that generally have uh, additional graveyard effects, you know. Or I guess you could throw it in decks and just be like, oh, break this skill, Galaxy Cyclone, Skill Prisoner, you know, stuff like that. But even then, you know, or you can get really, really cute. And if you can bust out a Cypher and Lord Omega, you can use uh, Rise to the Full Heights and then your opponent can pretty much never attack you, you know, because then you just go, you know, Rise, rise of the full, heart, uh, full Heights, target your Omega, so then they can't attack your Omega, then the Omega hops out of the way, but picking a punk card of your opponent's hand, then they can't attack, your Omega will come back, and then st during your standard phase, put the rise, put the, during their standard phase, put the rise back in, from the banners back to the graveyard, and then rinse and repeat, so they can just never attack, you know, so that's pretty much the thing, you pretty much have to bait the Omega, either get it with like a battle trap, or, you know, hit it with a striker warning, whatever, negate its effects, or be like, okay, well, you know, there's no open state in the game right now, so, you know, I'm going to set the cards in my hand, and then, taha, Mega can't use this effect anymore, you, got, you can't pitch, pick out of my hand, so you're about to get it, and you, what are you going to do, you rise to full heights, and on target your Cypher and Mega, I'm going to kill him, probably kill him anyway, if I can bait him, I, uh, hopefully I can kill him. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of more things. And bamboo swords, you know, send cursed bamboo sword, search for more bamboo swords. There's so many different things that you can do. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to the wiki, the tips, and the uh, and the description below. Go ahead and come over here to the wiki and check out all the different things that you can do. I didn't, I didn't even name half of the things, you know, because then this video would take forever. And Daniel was already a really long-winded talker, but. Um, yeah, I think that this card, I mean, it took forever to come out, uh, but it's it's fine. It's fine. It's just like cool. It's that you think that sending a spell or trap would kind of be like, meh, and compare them to monsters. But just like uh, the regular foolish, it gets you set up. And when you get set up with plays, especially, you know, from the deck, that's when you know that the card's pretty decent. So, uh, there we go. We are done here talking about foolish burial with belongings or up belongings. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> I, I really don't because... Uh, the wiki says foolish burial with belongings, but then when you read the effect, it says foolish burial of belongings. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just put with slash of whatever one it is. We'll know when we get it here in TCG and it has that English translation. So uh, I'll, of course, be back next week with some more cards to look at. I'm thinking next week I want to look at the two fluffle cards. You know, uh, I, uh, generally I like to look at decks that have ever played on daily duels or stuff like that. So, you know, I have a little bit of familiarity. And those Fluffle cards are actually pretty good. So I think I'll look at the, the new Fluffle mo Fusion Monster and then that Fluffle Normal mon uh, Effect Monster next week. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and I will see you guys uh, next time. Thanks for watching.